Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building another oddly shaped build and as you can see it's in the shape of a six or better said three sixes because I thought it would be fun to build a nightclub that is kind of like de dedicated to that number because I thought the devil's nightclub sounded kind of cool and yeah I thought that would be a fun challenge to do and yeah that's why I did it and I had that shape in mind but also the horns of the devil so I wanted to do a roof detail that looks like horns so that's what I'm doing now and yeah I just put it down um, on two of those sixes. Of course it's a little bit uh, like not in one row but I thought uh, artistic license it doesn't really matter so yeah I put that down and otherwise I kept to mostly black for the color scheme just a little bit of red um, just sprinkle in there basically and as you can see I lit up the horns for like the night um, so yeah it looks cool in the night I think and yeah I specifically wanted to get um, a feel for that so yeah that's why I switched to night um, a few times and yeah here you can see me doing the pathway and I thought I would make it into a kind of irregular shape with like those bump outs basically so it looks a little bit um, weird as well because yeah I just thought it would fit the theme of the devil a lot and I appropriately um, made the different um, like um, plants for the desert I didn't use any um, that would use normally or uh, would use um, in other circumstances in other worlds um, because yeah in the in the Oasis Springs worlds I think uh, world I think it looks a little bit weird um, with um, other plants and now I'm doing the different um, like rooms so the layout um, in the yeah nightclub itself and I decided to have a um, stage but also a VIP area and in one of the arms I put the toilets and at first I wanted to make it into the second like top arm of the six but it just didn't really work out with like putting two different toilets down so I decided to use the longer one so the first one basically and put down the toilets and I had like six toilets per um, bathroom so yeah that was also an option and as you can see here I um, had like that um, strangely shaped pile so I needed to um, fiddle a little bit with the counters that I used for the sinks and I had quite a few sinks not quite enough for like to match the number of toilets normally I try to do that in my public bathrooms um, just because I think um, it makes sense but in this case it um, didn't quite work out um, I only have five sinks in each bathroom where I have um, like six toilets so that well, didn't quite work out but I thought it doesn't really matter and now I'm just doing the flooring and um, yeah I decided the VIP area and the stage area would have like a little bit of a better wood if you can call it that and um, otherwise just a normal wood except in the toilet area there is tile again and now I'm doing the bar area and here I use red again for um, the yeah bar itself just because I thought that would look cool and as you can see I tried to um, like make the transition into the wall seamless but it didn't really work out and later I will change it again and now I'm in the VIP area and I decided there would be another little bar there so the VIPs didn't necessarily have to leave to get their drinks and then I moved on to the requirements that I hadn't fulfilled yet which were just the waste bucket and a stereo so I put those down and on the stage I decided on two um, more stereos 
um, the ones with the large speakers because I thought that looked cool and some guitars as well and then I moved on to the bar area again and in the um, space that was left there I put down some tables and also some couches so people can just sit and relax and maybe talk a little bit if it's not too loud and yeah I also put down some tables there and just um, fiddled with it a little bit so the space made sense and now I'm back um, at the bar and yeah I just tried to do something so it looks like more natural and um, not kind of weirdly cut off but it just didn't quite work out so I just put down another piece and that corner that um, it cuts off basically I just thought okay it doesn't really matter and then I started with the windows and I just used those small ones with a black swatch which we didn't have previously so I was really happy with the swatch update just for this item because I really wanted to use it more often but um, it didn't have a black swatch so sometimes it just wasn't possible so that was really cool to be able to use that now. Um, at the moment I'm in the backstage area um, where like the musician can just sit, relax, um, prepare for the stage. So um, yeah, that was a small little add-on that I decided on. It just worked out with the layout of everything. So I thought, why not do that like that? And now I'm just doing some lighting. I wanted it to be kind of dark, dark in there, just because that makes more sense, I think, in a bar, uh, in a nightclub, not a bar, um, in a bar as well, but this is a nightclub. And yeah, I just um, did like ho the whole lighting. I thought about bringing a sim sim here and like changing the tone of the lighting, but I think it works out with the like orange green, um, orange reddish color that I had for the wall lights. I thought it looked okay enough. And then I moved to the back and because I had a little bit of space there, I thought, okay, I want to do something else there as well. And I decided on a parking lot, um, just so something is there basically. Um, of course, it's not functional because we don't have functional cars in the sense, but um, it's still something that is there. And then I also decided on that like uh, statue thing as like the main theme of the club, um, maybe it's a symbol or something, I'm, I'm not sure, but I just uh, like to have something, like one decoration that is repeated in the club um, or bar or whatever I'm building. So yeah, I did that with uh, this thing and I uh, specifically wanted to use that because it has a bronze swatch and I thought that would fit well. And then I put some posters of performers that were already here down and I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!